please. Good evening, Mr. Arias. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher, my friends. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. The microphone teacher. The microphone is off. Awesome. Hello, 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 everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. yeah, teacher. Excellent. I can hear you also. So thank you very much for being here uh, on time. I truly appreciate it. So everybody, good evening. So let's see who is in the class already here. Uh, so I can say hi. So I can say hi to Edmundo, to Adam, Carlos, Carlos Santos and Carlos Cruz, Magdalena. Hello. And also to Wilbur, Wilbur Rebel. So hello, good evening, teacher. everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello. All right. Hello. Excellent. Hello. How was your day? Yeah. Did you have I'm a fine. good day or do you have a tidying day? That's like tidying. All right. Very good. Well, let's just take um, you know, a moment to enjoy the class, right? So then we can continue with this one. All right, everybody, let's just go for the first activity here. All right, so today's activity, so it's going to be here. This one, let's see. One second. There you go. Excellent. So it's going to be here, a review, a review of the class we were just um, studying last night right here. All right, so we are going to be, you know, doing this exercise right here, which is super, super, super simple. It's only five questions, and it's about uh, the last topic we were studying in last night's class, all right? So let's see here. It says, number one, our apartment, it's too dark. There are, letter A, not, no, no windows. There are not enough windows. There we go. So what letter is it? B, letter B. Letter B as in boy, right? Thank you very much. Excellent. Who can help me to read the next one, please? People can, can see into our house. There is. There is. What's the answer, my friends? There is letter B. Letter B, not enough privacy. Exactly. So it's basically the same structure, right? So because it says that people can see there, right? So there is no privacy. All right. Excellent. So what's the next one? Number three. Who can help me to read it? Magdalena, can you help me? I have a room down house. I I have. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? I hate. I hate it. I hate it for me. Mm -hmm. mm. What's the answer? I either, you're missing one word. So what's the correct answer there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will that be letter A? Enough good. Letter C? Not good enough. Letter B? Good enough or letter D, not enough good. So which one is it, my friends? Enough good. Enough good? So this one, you mean this one? Oh, because this one was this one, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, but this one, uh, what is it? Hmm? What is it, my friends? Hello, what's the answer right there? Is that the correct answer? This one? Or is it a different one? Hello? Maybe letter D. 
Letter D. Sure. This one? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No. <laughs> mm -mm. If it... So let me help you with this one. All right. Oops. All right. So I forgot this one right here. It's like a red one. Okay. Uh, this teacher, one... a question. A question. Uh -huh. What does run down uh, mean? Excuse me? What does run down mean? Oh, it's a type of house. Let me see if I can show you a picture here on the computer to see if you can uh, check it better. One second. Let me see. I, I want to show you the picture of a run down house. Okay. Okay. So let's see. One second. Run down house. Mm. Oh my God, this is not helping me. All right, well, let me just cut this one. So a rundown house is a house that is in bad conditions, you know, like um, deteriorada. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. All right, so, well, I have a rundown house. I hate it. It's, get this one. All right, so this word is a positive word or a negative word? Uh-huh. Negative. Uh, good. Ah, good is a negative word. Good, bueno. Yes. So it's a negative it's, or a positive word? Positive. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. So uh, let's see this one. All right. So, and then you go on this one right here. Entonces, this one right here sería lo suficientemente buena, no lo suficientemente buena, buena suficiente, no buena suficiente. What would be the correct answer, my friends? Let us see. Let us see. Exactly, not good enough, all right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So there you go. And then let's continue with this one, all right? So it's actually letter number four. Okay, everybody, can you help me with number four? Number four, it says, my new apartment doesn't have my old one. Ah, that's a comparison, huh? What is it in that case? Teacher, letter C. Letter C in number four? Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. No. I got it, I got it. Excuse me. Thank you. Number four. Mm -hmm. What is it? Teacher. Yes. As much bedroom as. As much bedrooms as. Mm -hmm. Los cuartos se pueden contar o no se pueden contar. Mm -hmm. That's yes. the question. Yes. Entonces, si se puede contar, sería much or many? Many. Exactly. All right. Entonces, sería letter C as well. As many bedrooms uh, as, as my old one. All right. So, mi apartamento nuevo no tiene tantos cuartos como el anterior. Exactly like that one. Thank you very much. There you go. Excellent. So, entonces, remember, much es para las cosas que no podemos contar, como water, money, Bread, etc. Right? Y el many is for things that we can count. In este caso, bedrooms can be counted. So we can say many bedrooms. All right. So then, number five, our house is just uh -huh. as comfortable, comfortable as comfortable as. Comfortable as uh, so, a letter? A. A, exactly. All right. So you're basically just talking about. The adjective right there. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for joining this uh, activity here with good attitude. So we can just continue here. Questions about the vocabulary, people, that you can see here? No questions? All right. So no questions, no questions. Okay, no, no problem. Let me clear this one right here so we can start here with the next activity. Okay, well, let's just pay attention to this one. So we're going to talk about, like here, uh, the quantifiers. So you me? Quantifiers, say it. Mm -hmm. Quantifiers, quantifiers, quantifiers. Exactly, right? So what is a quantifier, my friends? Can someone help me to read the first part there that talks about the quantifiers? Yes or no? Huh? Yes. Quantifiers. Uh -huh, quantifiers, exactly. The first part, the one in red. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it? 
Hello, my friend. Quantificadores. One second, one second, one second, one second right here. All right, excellent. Let me see here, just for a quick, 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 quick second. Oh, yeah, let me see here. All right, excellent. Sorry for that. Let's just continue with the quantifiers. Well, Edmundo, since you're the one participating right now, give me a hand, my friend, and help me to read the the, the first part, what it says. What is the quantifier? This one right Quanti here. Quantifier in English. Mm -hmm. hmm. Quantifier are used at, at the beginning of the noun phrases. They are used to express an amount or a degree of something. They, mm -hmm. they are also used with persons. Mm -hmm. That's correct. All right. Exactly. Thank you very much. As you can see there, it says they are used at the beginning of a noun phrase. And they are used to express an amount, right? So what is amounts, my friends? It's una cantidad, right? Cantidad. Exactly, amount. very good. Or a degree of something, right? So like if it is good, or grado de algo. exactly, right? And they're also used with people. Of course, you can use it with people here, all right? So, and then we have this, what we countable nouns. That's why before, all right, we were talking about like the, quant the, the countable and uncountable nouns, all right? So why? Because we are going to use these ones right here. So for example, this one, it says, with countable nouns, we are going to say a majority of, a number of, several, many, a large number of, a few, few, very few, a great number of. So all those expressions are going to be followed by a countable noun. Countable noun. For example, as you can have it right here, it can be like this one, you will see. So, and it says, it, you can have it here, last a uh, number of students. All right, so like in this class. one. Are in the class. class. In the class. Very good. Then you go on this one. Or, vamos a poner esto. O sea, no, en directa, nada más un ejemplo, ¿ok? All right, a few students are participating. There you go. How do you say that one, my friends? Mm -hmm. What is a few? Una pequeña cantidad. Exactly. Uno pocos. Uno, uno poco. poco. Uno poco estudiantes están participando, right? You know, it's not this group well, because you right can participate a lot, all right? Yes. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. So you then. Put audio. Did you go on this one? Okay, I understand. So. Pero con, con este grupo es así. You know. Several students participate in class. In the class. What is it? Several. It's the opposite of a few. A few, it's just unos pocos. So several, it's like? Varios. Varios. Exactly. Right? So several students participate in the class right here. All right? Very good, excellent. So that happens a lot in this um class, of course, right? So I'm just gonna leave it here. Then you go on the next one right here with countable nouns. Oh, something important here. Countable nouns, as you can see, I'm talking about students, right? So I can perfectly say one student, two students, three students, etc. Right? Because I can count them. That's why it's countable. But with uncountable nouns, it's gonna be a little bit different right here, which is this one, all right much which is what we were talking before right much sugar um i don't have much sugar for example a bit all right a great deal of a large quantity of a large amount of a, a little all right so for example if you want to say i cannot go to the party all right all right i can you know go to the party a party because I have the money. This one. I can go to the party because I have a little money, right? So, just a un poco de dinero nada más, all right? So, or if all right, can say the microphone. Let's say it. All right. Thank you. So, you go on this one right there. So, let's see, everybody. Let's continue with this one right here and say this one. So in, we continue here and say, 
I can no go to the party because I have a little money, which means no puedo ir a la fiesta porque no tengo suficiente o, I mean, poco dinero. That's, that's actually the best translation. Y también tenemos here los quantifiers que pueden ser, you know, quantifiers that can be used with countable or uncountable nouns, all right? Those quantifiers are basically the same, all right? So, for example, how do you say no tengo suficientes manzanas para el pastel? How do you say that? Hmm? How do you say no tengo suficientes manzanas para el pastel? Yes. Okay, fine. No problem. All right. So, uh, for example, if I want to say here, this one, if I want to say, for example, no tengo suficientes manzanas. I don't have, I, I don't have, I don't have enough apples well, for the cake. I will say. Thank you. I don't have enough apples. 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 For the cake. cake. For the cake. For cake. Very good. Excellent. And this one right here, we just have to like make sure this one, you can basically go here and say this one. This one, it's like apples. So I can have like countable nouns right here, right? So you go on this one there. And then you go and say this one, for example, here. Okay, let's see. My God. So, let's see here. And you go on this one right here. If I want to say with uncountable nouns, right? So, if you want to say, for example, no tengo. Para tomar. All right, it says. I don't have enough, enough water. To drink. Uh -huh. I don't have um, enough, enough water. water to drink. I drink. don't have. There you go. Excellent. And as you can see right here, aquí tengo un contable, which is apples, right? And then I have the next one right here, eh, que es eh, water, que es incontable. Entonces, este enough puede usarse con contables, and you can use it as well with uncountable, right? So, very good, excellent. And let's just continue with this one. So do you have questions about this? No questions. No questions? Just, oh, no questions. All right. No Thank questions. You. Let me just send it here to the group so you can have it there. So, well, and then you can use exactly all of them in the same way that we just use enough, for example, right? So um, like this one, how do you use this one right here? No, it comes when it comes like this one right here. So there are no apples, all right? Or you can say there is no space. Space is actually uncountable and apples are countable, right? In both things, this one, no I, in no I, all right? So, but this is like, there are no apples. I'll say are because it's countable. In here I say is because it's uncountable. For example, right? Um, another one we can check right here. It is like this one. You know, more is very simple to use. You can say, for example, I need more um, oranges, for example, right? Or you can say, I need more money, which is the one we can have right here. You can say, I need more grapes, by grapes, uvas. Or you can say, I need more money so you have this one right here basically if you put it on the bar it's exactly the same um the same the same um structure right necesito más right necesito más right here la diferencia es que este es contable y este sería el incontable here all right so you go on this one there very good excellent thank you so let's continue with this one all right um Ah, uh, now, something super important right here, it's my friends, that you need to understand uh, uh, like this one. So, I will show you this one right here. What's the meaning of like any? So, still va a usar any, so it's just like, uh, you know, basically, you are going to use a negative auxiliary. All right, so, like this one. Like 
I don't have any money. Uncountable, right? I don't, don't have um, any apple, any points, for example. All right, so we're talking about, no tengo nada de dinero, no tengo ningún, what this one, all right? When it says like any, cuando sea algo incontable, any será atendido como nada de, right? So, y cuando sea contable, sería ningún. So, the same word means nada or ningún, depending if I'm using countable or uncountable nouns right here. All right? So, well, questions at the moment? No questions? No question. No question. All right. Very good. Give me a second here so I can check this part here. Okay, we are going to be working with an activity. Right now, I'm going to stop sharing this. Um, I don't know if someone... Teacher. Yes, my friend. Is there, are you meaning play, plenty of... Plenty, Excuse me? What do you say, plenty, plenty, plenty of? What do you mean? Uh, this one. Yeah, yeah. Like, mucho. Like, for example, right? I can say uh, Magdalena boyfriends. Like this one. Take a look. Do you see the example? Yeah. All right. So how would you translate that into Spanish? Este Magdalena... Tiene muchos amigos. Ajá, muchos amigos. Very good. Excellent. O podemos decir. No, All right. Like plenty of money. Y este sería incontable. Magdalena tiene mucho dinero. dinero for example. Uh, Understand? Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. So let's see this one right here. Okay. Let me just stop the share. Teacher. Yes. Aquí viene none. Non es ninguno. Ah, okay. Ninguno, ningún. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye, my friends. I can just copy you a link. All right, so you please get it there. All right, click on the link I sent. Um, if someone can give me a hand and share it to the group because I don't have access to WhatsApp right now, can somebody uh, copy the link and paste it on the group? I truly appreciate it. Let me see if I can activate it now. All right, all right. And let me share the screen here. Don, teacher. Thank you very much, my friends. Really appreciate it. So this is the test right here. It's about the topic that we just actually studied, right? I can see Magdalena already joined the... Um, the game, also Enrique, very good. Remember, if you are uh, the first ones joining the test, you get 600 points, right? So let's see here. So Wilbur is also there. I have and rolling. Mm, okay. okay. Hey, are you having a problem with the computer or with the internet connection, Edmundo? I have a problem with the internet connection. Mm, so sorry to hear about that. All right, so what about everybody else? So I can see only three people in the game. Where is Adam, Saul? Okay, okay. get in, get in right now. Okay, perfect. I can see Carlos also. Uh -huh. okay, let me see, Carlos Santos. 
I don't see Adam there. Present, um, teacher. I am here. Oh, yeah, you're present. But what about the activity we're doing right now? I am here, Saul, present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I want to see really? you in the activity too, Saul. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you so much. Teacher. Yes, Magdalena. Thank you, Edmundo. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Sí, me sale. Estaba en su línea, en el link. Creo que me salí, me salió, me salió. All right, you can join yes, again, yeah. no problem. Se puede dar de nuevo, no hay problema. Todavía no hemos empezado. The link is in the, in the WhatsApp chat. Uh -huh. Ajá. Vaya, eh, vamos like the same thing here, people. Hay una reunión alrededor de 10 a 15 personas ahorita y no veo más que 5 en la activity. What happens with the rest? Uh -huh. What do you do, teacher? Excuse me? What do you do? We are working on a test, my friend. Uh, do you see the screen right now? Yeah, if you don't see the link, let me send it again. No problem. Okay. This was the link. It is in um, the chat here in Zoom. And Edmundo shared the link on WhatsApp. This mismo link. Okay. Right. Teacher. Yes. And ya aparezco ahí, creo. Yes. Yeah. I can see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right now I can see I have eight people. Magdalena, Enrique, Wilbur, Carlos Santos, Edmundo, David, Baudilio, y Arrazabal, Mr. Arrazabal. All right. What about the rest? Hmm? Recording in progress. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Very good. Excellent. We have 10 people. Empezamos con esos 10. We are going to start with those 10 people. All right. The test starts right now. Teacher. Okay, thank you for informing. Ya aparezco ahí, teacher. Yes, my friend, aquí estamos ya los ten participating right now. There you go, excellent. Here you can see the top three, all right? Come on, ahí. Santos, Mauricio Arias, y Carlos Alberto Santos, yes. Teacher, no, no veo participar, no puedo participar. What happened, Magdalena? ¿Se salió? No sé, pero no me aparece a mí la participación. Mm, well, no problem. Si quiere le mandamos el link aquí otra vez, se puede volver a unir. Mientras está activo el test, you can participate.
teacher. Yes, my friend. What do uh, what do you mean in patinance? Excuse me. What do you mean in patinance? You want to know how you say patinance in English? Uh, P A T E. Patinance, roller skate, and or... uh, and um, exercise ten. Okay. She okay. doesn't seem to have. Patience. Ah, patience. Ah, patience. Patience. Yes, ah, patience. Okay, okay. Yes, patience, patience. You have patience. Patience, patience. Patience. Ah, okay. okay. Remember, if you have questions, I'm here to help you, right? Okay. Remember the test is going to stop whenever the first three people finish the test. I am late to class. I don't understand what it's about. The information has been also sent to the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, so three people already finished the test, so we can continue with that one. Let's see. Hello, mejor. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Una nota, mire, veamos. Todo tres personas pasaron. Weaver, Enrique, and Edmundo. Right, the rest? Exactly. Very good. Wow. We're going to stop right here this activity. So thank you very much in this one. So my friends, all right, so entonces, right? So it's super important that you are a little bit more responsible, right? Enjoy the class and pay attention to the class, right? So not only join the class. It's no longer available. Excuse me? What was that? I am, I am finished, Chris. All right, good. Thank you. Uh, so, as I was saying before, it is important that you guys all join the class and pay attention to the class, right? Because I can see sometimes you guys join the class, but you are doing other activities. So please try to like, you know, pay more attention here, right? So you can actually take advantage of the test. 
So let's see here. Now, let me just continue with this one to see this activity here. All right, excellent. So, well, uh, now we are going to go with this exercise, which is regarding uh, two specific words from the vocabulary that we were studying before, which is gonna be some or any, right? So with some or any, um, we got this one right here. Remember, some, it's gonna be for something that it's positive, and any, it's for something that is negative or questions. Let me write that here so you can remember. So remember here, some, it's gonna be here for positive things. All right, so let me just check this one. I can just, no, that's one, it's correct, the blue. Some, it's about something positive, any, it's for negative. And also any is gonna be for questions. There you go, excellent. So that is the usage you're gonna be having right here. So remember here, some is gonna be for something positive and any for negative or questions as you can see right here. So let's just pay attention to this one right here and let's see how it works. Now, number one, it says there aren't some or any help. What would that be? It would be some or any, my friends? Any. Any, it's exactly. Any. Why? It's going to be any because any. 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 exactly. Any. Very good. Excellent. Number yeah, two, please. do you have some or any Americans? No. Do, Sorry, do, do you know? know? Do, do you know? Huh? Do you know some, some. or any Americans? Um, do you know? Americans. No, any. Any American. But, but question. Negative, negative. No, question. The question. Question. It's always says here. All right. So the then. question is for questions, it's any. Negative and <laughs> questions. Mm. Any. Mm -hmm. Then you go with the next mm. one. Number three. We need some or any yes. more coffee. We need some more coffee. Some more oh. coffee. Very good. It's, it's, a, it's, positive, positive. it's positive, exactly, right? So number four, it says she's got some or any interesting friends. Some. Is some porque es possible. Exactly, it's something positive. She's so got go with some, some. Mm -hmm. interesting friends. Interesting friends, exactly, right? So. Then you go on the next one right here. All right. So I, I didn't have, have uh -huh. no, any. some or any. 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 Any breath. It's negative. It's negative. So that's why yeah. you use any. All right. So exactly. What about number six? Number six says here. Uh -huh. It hasn't, it hasn't some done any. any. Any word for 10 any years. Any word. For 10 years. Exactly. He hasn't done any work for 10 years, right? There you go. Super good. Then you go with the next one, number seven. Uh, have you got any. some or any brothers? Any, any, any brothers what? and any. sisters. It's a question. question, right? It's a question, teacher. Very good. Excellent. So then. I'm having some or any problems with my car. Some. I have yes. some problem with my car. Some porque it's a positive. Exactly. Thank you yes, very some. much. There you go. It's a positive. Are there any restaurants near here? There you go. Are there any it's restaurants? It's a question. It's a question. Very good. Uh... Excellent. Uh -huh. Do you have questions, Edmundo? No, no, I don't have a question. All right, uh, anybody else? Do you have questions about the vocabulary? No question. Can you ascend <laughs> a crystal of that piece? Absolutely. Not a question. Yes. Can you help me with that, Edmundo, sending the screenshot? Yes, uh, I, 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 I share it right now. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, this one. Can you send a screenshot of that, please, teacher? 
All right. Yeah, of course. Edmund is going to help us with oh. that. I guess he just sent it right now. You're very good, Mr. Lucha. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Great. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. So let's continue here with the next activity. All right, this one right here, it's gonna be a little bit different. This is what we are going to be using, much, many, or a lot of, right? So then you go on this one. Remember, much, it's gonna be for uncountable. Many, for countable. And a lot of, it's gonna be for both of them. All right, so like that. John hasn't. Uh -huh. What is it? Money. Many money. Many money. Mm -mm. Much. Much. Exactly. All right. Money. So you know, guys. Much. Let's let's do something. What it's I say. Countable, teacher. Let's do something for this exercise. A lot of puede ser usado para ambos casos, contable y contables. Entonces, para poner en práctica lo otro, vamos a dejar a lot fuera. All right, so, y nos vamos a quedar nada más con much and many. All right, para que enfocarnos en los contables e incontables. Remember, a lot puede ser usado con cualquiera de los dos, así que, I mean, it's okay, right? So, puede igual poner una de estas o esta, pero queremos con much and many. All right, so let's see. What's going to be this one right here with uh, Hassan? Much or many? Much. Many. Much. Much. Right. Much. 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 It's much. Por qué? Porque money a, is much. uncountable. It's uncountable. Uncountable. Now. Very uncountable now. It's an uncountable now. There you go. Excellent. So then you go with the next one right here. All right. There so is money. There is gold in the bag. No, there is much gold in the bag. Much for his contable. There is money. Uh, uh -huh. no. It is much. Much. It is much because it's uncountable, right? I haven't mm -hmm. got uh -huh. many. Many birds. birds. Is many. Many birds in the sky. Why? Because this is countable, right? Very good. Excellent. So. Cars in the street. Many. There Not are many. Many. Very there are good. Many cars in the street. Many, porque no me pueden contar. Well, actually, los many son los que sí se pueden contar. All right. Sí. Los sí. much son los que no se pueden contar. Sí, se pueden contar, perdón. All right, so very good. Are there um, many five. apples yes. in the good tree? Good job. On the tree. On the tree. Are so there many? Many apples. Many. Right. You are bad, Mr. Iglesia. All right, so number six, Jane Spence. Much money at the, at the Much shop. Much money on the, at money. the shop. Money. At the shop. Much money at the shops. All right, the so. shop. Have you got? All right, excellent. Have so you money. got much bread? Much cup bread in the combo. Have you got much bread? Combo. Como la pronuncia ahí, teacher? Cutboard, 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 cutboard. Cut cut Are there many? Are there many children, children on the beach? All right. So you go on that one saying, at the beach. How, how much or many? Many, 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 many. Because this is the plural of children. Very good. And yeah. the last one. We are much, early. We, we have early. much time. We, we are, have much time. We are much, we have time. much time. Much, much time, time right here. All right, excellent. Ahora, ¿por qué decía del otro de a lot? A lot of, right? Porque este, basically, I can actually, lo puedo poner everywhere. Y queda bien, mira. Get too much, y le pongo a lot of money, and sounds good. Queda bien. Justin has a lot of money. Aquí lo mismo. There is a lot of gold. This one. Then says Spain, a lot of you know, money. A lot, of, the birds, shop. A lot of cars, a lot of apples, a lot of money, a lot of bread, a lot of children, <coughs> and a lot of time. All right. So, yes. Entonces, este puede ir en cualquier mm. lugar de estos de aquí. All right. So, that's why 
we didn't actually take it because it was going to be like unnecessary. Hey, do you have questions about the vocabulary here? No question for me, teacher. I am question teacher. Tell me, uh, Wilbur. Good barrel. What is a good barrel? The cut bar. Repeat it. Cut bar. Cut bar. Cut bar. No, borrow, no. Cup, 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 board. Repeat cup it. Board. Cup, board. cup, cup, board. Board. Very good. Excellent. So, first of all, we check the pronunciation, right? And then we go with the uh, the meaning, right? So, let's just go on this one right here. And the cup words. It's son los, eh, como la, la cena, you know? Eh, lo que le vemos aquí nosotros el pantry. You know? All right, the cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. All right, you got it. Cupboard. Yeah. Thank you very uh -huh. much. Right. Exactly. La, la cena, Thank you so much. You know, cabinete. Some people call it different ways, right? You know, it's like we call it pantry. I guess that's the best way to actually give it a, a translation here. As los como los pantries, what we call here. All right, excellent. So uh, let's just continue with the next one. Questions? Some more questions about the vocabulary here. No question. Okay, no very question. good. So let's just go here with the next uh, activity. Okay. Which is this one? The one you can see right there. All right. So we are going to check, for example, in number one. Read it and tell me which is the correct one. Which is going to be the correct one? Huh? It says, in my opinion, houses are the, as expensive. Number one. Apartments in my neighborhood. Number I mean, letter two. Number two says houses are expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. So number one, what is going to be the correct answer for number one? For me, in my opinion, houses are expensive as apartments. Uh, no, no, no. It, the the the, the thread, thread. Are expensive. In my opinion, houses are um, just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. okay, is this going to be option one, two, or three? Option three. Three. That is correct. And this is just what happened right here check. because this is distraction. In the opening houses are just an expensive as expensive as apartments. Right? As 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 la, la, la. As this is like right? under the same conditions. Like this one. All right. There you go. Excellent. So. Number two, it says, my neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big his, is big as his, isn't as big as his. What is it? The, the three, the three, isn't as big as his. Yeah, that's correct. So this is the correct answer right here, all right? So let's see here. Now, what's the He's next one? Big, his, his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Questions, questions? What is it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like to live in apartments. The, the, because the, fir the first, don't have as many rooms as houses. Uh huh. Very good. Excellent. So, estamos comparing, right? So, like this one. Many or much. There you go. Questions about the vocabulary here? No question for me, no teacher. No questions? Are you sure? No question, teacher. Bah, good, excellent. Vamos a ver si hacemos otro test. All right. One second right here.
going to be a 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to stop the shirt right here and I'm going to start another quiz. Let's see, si ahora nos va mejor, like paying attention, right? Very simple. It's about exactly many or much. That's it, all right? And it's only 10 questions, so it's gonna be shorter. Okay. Let me also share it here in the WhatsApp group. I'm sending this right now. Okay. Okay, okay. One second. All right. Very good. Sharing screen right here. There you go. Waiting for participants. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Mister, for sending that as well. Estamos ya conectados. Ya, yeah, like so. Let's see. There you go. A lot of people. Excellent. So we can start the test right now. Go ahead, my friends. Very good, very good. Mm. Very good, very good. Awesome. So we see more people finish the test. Yes, yes, yes. No uh, podía ingresar. Okay, no problem. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much on this one right here. So everybody was able to finish the test right there. 
So let's see what's the final result. Let's see. Yes, I the number one, you have a number two, and number three, Carlos Alberto. So very good, my yes, one. Yes, All right, so I congratulate you. It's the test of much mejor. All right, so and this is actually the proof that you have to be paying attention to the topic in the class right here. So you guys are going to understand this better. But when you are not paying attention to the class or you're doing something different, um, you know, so it's difficult for you to understand what the topic is about, all right? So, well, eh, we are going to stop right here because it's already time for you to leave the class. And I just want you to please um, do me that favor. Um, when you join the class, practice in the activities, pay attention to what I'm talking about. If you have questions, please ask me. So I'm, I will be more than happy to help you, but I need to know if you understand or if you don't, if you don't understand, okay? So, well, before I let you go, everybody, do you have any questions so far? No questions? No questions, teacher. No questions, teacher. Well, if that's the case, I will let you go and I will see you tomorrow, please. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow, my friend. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you can. Jetty.